Twins hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 115 on the money line. The Twins are minus 135 over under eight runs. Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. Twins hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 115 on the money line. The Twins are minus 135. The over under eight runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. Both of these guys are strikeout guys. So keep an eye out for their K lines. Uh, the Red Sox are 2-4 and four as a team with Paxton on the mound. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 7.3 strikeouts per game in his six starts. The Twins are 6-4 and four as a team with Lopez on the mound in his last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and two-thirds innings pitched and 6.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite has won the last two games. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10, two in their last four, one in the series that they played against each other this year. The over is hit in their last five. The over is 7-2-1. Two and one. And the over eight specifically is 8-2. and two. The wind is blowing in from right center field towards the third baseline at 10.3 miles per hour. The series they played against each other this year was a three-game set in Boston. The Red Sox took two out of three. They won the first game 5-4. to four. The Twins won the second game 10-4. And the Red Sox won the second game, or the third game, 11-5. to five. The Red Sox are on a four-game winning streak. They kicked the shit out of the Yankees in three consecutive games. And I know they didn't beat them in badly in every one of the games, but they swept us. They are 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under is hitting their last two games, and the under is 7-3 and three in their last 10. Nine runs, 20 runs, eight runs, and five runs. Six runs and a win, 15 runs and a win, six runs and a win, four runs and a win. For the Twins, they're 1-3 and three in their last four and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. 12 runs, 8 runs, 2 runs, 10 runs. Four runs and a loss, one run and a loss, two runs and a win, four runs and a loss. I am really on the fence about this game because Lopez is on the mound, but seemingly when I've been picking with Lopez lately, the Twins have been sticking it to me. So I'm going to go with the underdog here. I'm going to take the Red Sox with the money line. I'm going to take the Red Sox getting the runs, and I'm going to go over, and we see if this backfires in my face. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.